What are star clusters? They're a group of stars that share a common origin and are gravitationally bound for some length of time. Where are we going? Do you think there's much need to try to go out and meet other life forms in the universe? I mean, people have a tendency, it seems, to like overstep their bounds. I would agree with that. If we were more accepting of any other culture, or, I don't know, being male, female, alien, we'd have a lot more success going into space. It's like maybe we could, you know, just live of our own accord. Yeah, I mean, otherwise it seems like it could get us involved in a uh, an interstellar war. Yeah. Someone should make a movie about that. <laughs> I think there are plenty of movies about that. <laughs> Do you want to go to Mars? Can't come back, though. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of scared of heights, if I'm going to be honest with you. But I think I read something like within the next 300 years, we are going to have to find a way to support life elsewhere. I mean, I won't be alive. 300 years from now. <laughs> Who knows with medical advances though, you know? Hopefully. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's kind of a one-way like ticket. Ever, yeah. That's cool that you'd be willing to like be one of the people to go though. I don't or know if I if I said that. I don't <laughs> know. I don't know. It's scary, would you? Depends on what it was like. If they were sending us out there and they were just like not going to take good care of like the people going out there then I wouldn't want to go, but if they were going to send us out there and it's like this badass space setup. <laughs> I mean, and, what uh, job are you going to get on Mars? Well, I'm assuming my job would be to colonize Mars. <laughs> like, I mean, that's a pretty big deal. They can't possibly expect me to, like, work like a 9 No, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta pay the bills and exist on Mars. <laughs> yeah, no, I, think, I think existing on Mars would be a full-time job. Yeah. Also, there's no bills on Mars. That's true. Think about that when thinking about you whether know, or honestly, not to go Honestly, if I could get, like, a girl and a couple of friends to go with me, I would probably go. Yeah, I'd go. That's fair. You don't go to Mars? No bills. You can see all the stars. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if we're there quite yet. <laughs> they shared the initial metallicity, so any effect of this on stellar evolution is effectively the same for members of a cluster. Everything worth doing, I feel like, always makes me a little nervous in the beginning. Would you say that for the future you have more of a pessimistic point of view? Um, Cause some of the things you've said, I'm like, dang, this guy... I wouldn't say I have a pessimistic view of the future. I think, like, humans have a really effective mode of mutual conflict that keeps everything moving. Um, I guess I'm pessimistic in the sense of I think that there's like an unresolvable conflict at like the core of humanity and so like history plays out as like warfare and like strife but I think that warfare and strife manages to sustain itself really well. Do you think that like going to space though might affect that? Like maybe that's what we need to end this sort of eternal conflict that you're talking about. Maybe humanity needs to be put in their place. Well, that'd be pretty rocking if that was the outcome. Yeah. Like if it brought like if it brought peace to like the world spirit. Yeah. yeah. I think it might. But that's the optimist in me. I mean, I could see that. I could see that. 
And maybe like the aliens we would encounter wouldn't there like they'd be advanced enough or developed enough to where like they've already healed that conflict within themselves. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe that's what humanity needs is to meet like a kind race. If they're more enlightened than we are, then they might not engage us at all in something like that. Like we might be ready for this interstellar war and they might be like, No, no, dear little baby <laughs> humans, let me tell you how it is from space. Where are we going?